in Patong, Phuket, I bought a stand and I vlogged a couple of times with it on my Canon G7X Mark II. This was the stand here. It also acts as a pod so you can extend it right out like that and you can put a GoPro on here. You can put this on it as well like that, pretty easy. And the really good thing about it is that you can extend it or you can bend it, extend it and bend it. And you just lock it in like so, lock it here like so, and there you go. And it's good for vlogging at night. I use this to vlog at night, this camera. So it's good to extend it out like that. Because this comes at a set range, it's not wide angle, but if I hold it out there further, it gives the illusion that I'm on a wide angle kind of a lens, but I'm not. So it's a really good investment. If you ever come to Thailand, you can go and buy these. It cost me about $10 New Zealand. I did bargain down, like they did want to sell it to me for $20 New Zealand, but I bargained down to about 250, 300 baht, which is roughly $10 New Zealand. So you can get them pretty much around Thailand. I haven't seen these before in New Zealand, uh, but you can also, as I said before, put a GoPro on it. So it does come with the attachments for the GoPro. So yeah, really good investment for those that are looking at moving into more vlogging. And just another note, try and grab yourselves a Canon G7X Mark II. It does outshine things like a Canon 70D at night because this takes in really good low light and uh, it's really colorful as well and sharp. And this only cost me around 900 New Zealand. So yeah, if you're ever in Southeast Asia and you see one of these Canon G7X Mark IIs and you've got some cash to buy one, I recommend to get one if you want to get into vlogging. Good afternoon guys, we're here at some restaurant in Karabe, me and the brother Grant. We're just loading up on some of the goodness here. We've got like fish and chips and platters and stuff for a really cheap price. I think for about five or six dollars New Zealand you get like a massive platter of fish and chips. So the food here is not too bad price wise. I think a bit later on we're going to go and check out the temple during the day again and then uh, yeah have a little look around Krabe. We're here for another day but it's really hot outside. It's probably in the mid 30s. You can just feel the heat rising off the road when you're walking. It's like a walking sauna. So we just finished having some lunch at that place called Boom Steak. They had some awesome fish and salad, all for a couple of dollars New Zealand. One thing you will notice around Southeast Asia as well, they also give out their password for Wi-Fi. So you get free Wi-Fi when you go to some of the restaurants and bars here in Southeast Asia. That's a good thing because you don't have to use up your data. And so while you're waiting for your meal to get prepared, you can just do your social media or upload photos or any of that kind of stuff, which is really, really handy. Anyway, guys, we're going to check out a few more shops here in Krabe. Check out the tires on this thing. It's a good off-roader bike. Can you hear the noises up in this tree? They're locusts. Sounds really eerie. Anyway, we're heading back up to the temple. Have a look during the day. back up here at the temple in Krabe. Looks rather beautiful here during the day. Blue skies. I think it's some kind of marble or granite. And these little bits of gold around as well so beautiful temple here in Krabe. 
Wow, check this out, guys. Check that out. Karabe, 145th years. Check that out. Crabby, Thailand. Look at all the crabs. <laughs> So this is the night market, so we're going to navigate our way through all the stores and the people. It's pretty packed here. They've got drinks and desserts for like 20 baht, which is about 40 cents I think, or 80 cents New Zealand, which isn't too bad. But check out all the stuff man, all the wares. This is the night market man. to find a coconut shake for a start and load up on some coconut mm -hmm. so I'm gonna try one of these garlic vegetable fritters thank you Kapuka. crickets stick limb. Insects. Just grabbing one of these fruits here. Thank you. Well, guys, that's another night here at the Krabi Markets in Krabi. We're gonna leave it at that and uh, load up on some more of the Thailand goodness from Krabi. Experience the journey, inspire others, live life, guys. Well, we're in Bangkok, streets of Bangkok. So, this is the infamous Cosine Road here during the day. 